hello again and a very, very good evening. You are, of course, watching my favourite show of the week and hopefully yours, the Planet Cruise TV show. I'm Sean Lyon, there you go. Um, but most importantly tonight, we have got six outstanding deals. We've got some exclusive offers. We've got some massive savings. We're going to take you all the way around the world and we are going to be announcing the winners who are... I was going to say lucky to be dining with me. You might, I don't know. But uh, we are going to be announcing the winners that are going to be dining with me on the cruise that I'm hosting with Celebrity on the 18th of October next year. You don't know what you've let yourself in for, believe me. But I'm joined by a, a, a great cruise expert, the lovely Justin. Nice to see you. How you doing? Yeah. Lovely to see you again. Oh, oh. Don't, don't panic about this cruise. If, if, if you've been lucky enough to be drawn... We've actually taught him how to eat with cutlery. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah, fine. Thank you. Only just. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, we're going, Ruth from Celebrity is going to be providing the wine. We're going to be fine. But um, <laughs> just is with us. Um, great show. We've got six amazing deals. Haven't we, we? We've got great deals. We, we've got some. Uh, these deals are just you just cannot resist them. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to, to meeting Tom from Riviera a little bit yes. later on. We've got a, a guest coming in uh, from our River Cruise line that's going to be featured tonight. Um, so uh, definitely, if you've, if you've been torn with the idea of a river cruise, then don't go anywhere. I, and we've actually got some great single prices on that river cruise as well. Yeah. So, yeah, for all of our single ladies and gents, do stay watching. But you might be new to the show. Um, Justin used to work on the cruise ships. I've done 22 cruises. So between us, we, we know a fair amount about cruising. But what about Planet Cruise? Well, here's our lovely Keith to tell you more. So, who are Planet Cruise and why should you book with us? We're the largest independent travel agency in the UK. And that means that although we work with all the cruise companies, we're not affiliated to any particular brand or cruise line. And this means that we can offer you unbiased, impartial and honest advice on what cruise will be best for you. Our team are destination and cruise experts. And this means they either worked on board themselves or they cruise regularly. And that means the advice they give is first hand. We're open seven days a week and have been creating bespoke cruise holidays for the past 10 years. And all of that knowledge is poured into our industry topping customer service, which for 2016 so far stands at 97% positive customer feedback. Every year we win loads of awards, literally too many to mention here. So check our website for more details. We specialize in making tailor-made bespoke cruise holidays built around your dreams and needs. Whether it's a pre or post cruise stay in your chosen destination or a wonderful land tour to pair with your chosen days at sea or even private flights and transfers around the world, we can plan it all. If you've yet to book your cruise, we'll match any quote you've received on the same day for the same holiday. We're APTA and Atoll Bonded. Thanks, Becky. Which means you can book with this in confidence that your money is safe. Thanks for watching. Check out the website and we'll see you soon. I'll tell you what, some great things. I love the customer yeah. feedback. Yeah, the, yeah, 97%. Yeah. And especially, especially in, in a day and age where there's so much communication online, whether that's you know, on reviews or that's social media, then you know, that, that really yeah. is an accolade to be proud of. So uh, we would love you to book with Planet Cruise tonight, even if it's for your very first time. But anyway, we'd better crack on because yeah. uh, our first cruise is, first of all, an amazing price starting today. Is that right? Four yeah. seven nine. Yeah, that works at sixty nine pounds per night per person, and where you're going is superb. Well, I tell you what, let's give you a, a little taster. Now it starts off with a flight, of course, doesn't it? Yeah, it starts off, and you're actually going to be flying over from Gatwick over to Savona, uh, and this is the, the start of your cruise. It's your embarkation port. Now, of course, uh, the, the actual ship itself, fantastic ship. We'll go through that a little bit later on. Uh, but our first port of call is Marseille. Now, this is a, a beautiful fishing village, and of course, you can have a little bit of a wander around, grab a, a little bit of crab salad or a little bit of light lunch there, uh, and just enjoy a nice. Uh, easy way into the cruise. Then we're going to be going into one of my favourite ports of all, and that is Barcelona. Oh, yes. Um, such a beautiful horizon. It's going to be a musical show tonight, I can feel. Uh, but <laughs> Barcelona's got great facilities. You've got the beachfront there. In fact, that's the Hotel Arts just down the bottom there. There's, uh, there's a great uh, bunch of restaurants around there. Also, if you're a football fan, you can go to the yeah. New Camp. If you're a Formula One fan, you can go to Circuit de Bas Barcelona, Catalonia. It's the other way around. Uh, there's some great sites. So see the Gaudi buildings, the uh, Sagrada Familia, the Cathedral that's never been finished uh, and of course you've got La Ramblas uh, which is great you've got all the street performers there you've got to take some photos of them because they are bonkers it is, it, it's a really magical place isn't it, it it's brilliant it, and you know, you've got such wealth um, in one section and then you've got this really gritty urban nature where everybody just pops into a tapas bar um, midday and has a glass of wine I absolutely it, love honestly, it the atmosphere there is amazing if you've never been 
Shopping's good there as well. Oh, yes. A um, little bit of a contrast. We're going to go into Valencia. Uh, now, of course, this is the old quarter that we're actually going to be going into. And, of course, a lot of this was built in the Middle Ages. So you've got plenty of uh, streets to wander around. You've also got the Albufeira National Park there as well. And if you're a collector of porcelain, um, then the Hladro Museum is there as well. So uh, if you like your little porcelain, porcelain figurines, then go there and get something original from the factory. Then you're going to have a nice relaxing day at sea, and then you're going to go into Sardinia. Uh, now, again, the, the food here, I'd, I'd actually go to say I'll choose this port as my lounge at a cafe with a bottle of rosé that never empties. <laughs> and just enjoy something like a caprese salad, something fresh. The seas are absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, and the beaches are too as well. So uh, uh, one, one to look forward to. And then you've got Rome. Now, all I will say is that Planet Cruise can book tours in advance. I highly recommend this. You haven't got a lot of time on board, so you don't want to be wasting it watching all the port lectures and the tours and queuing up at the tour desk. You can go to the Vatican City, you can go to the Trevi Fountain, you can go and see the Colosseum. There is a short trip, because obviously you're not going to be able to just rock up in Rome in your cruise ship. You're actually docking at somewhere called Civitavecchia, which is actually a great, uh, a great place for shopping. Um, but you can either take the train, you can either take a bus, and you can do it all in one day. Uh, and then you're going to be finishing off in Savona and then flying back uh, to London Gatwick. Um, now, let's give you a little taster of the gorgeous ship that you're going to be on with Costa. And there is so much to do on this ship. We yeah, the Pacifica. Earlier. John's nice. She's, she's not a massive ship. She's 114,000 tonnes. So you've got about 3,700 at full capacity. Um, you've got theatres that, that span three decks. You've got a 4D cinema, 4D, where, where the actual seats move. Oh, really? Yeah, so... so you've got that fourth dimension. You've got a Grand Prix simulator. That's where I'd be, all crews. Uh, a golf simulator. Uh, a coffee and chocolate bar. I love it. At the end of the night, you know, when you have a really nice meal, you have a nice coffee just to finish things off, and you know sometimes they just put one chocolate down. No, I want a selection. I want to choose some truffles. I want to choose those chocolates. Um, the dining facilities on board are absolutely fantastic Christine. as well. And, um, yeah, just, you know, just wherever you go on ship, whether it's I, in one of the restaurants or whether it's up on deck, then you can have a great time. I mean, all of this tonight starting at 479. Now, let's just... £69 uh, pounds a night per person. Well, you, I'm not being funny, but you wouldn't even get like a very average hotel for that in the UK, would you? So, um, first of all, we have got an Easter special on this. So, we've got Easter available from only five nine nine. Uh, everyone booking tonight will get an exclusive free bottle of Prosecco, and that will be actually in your cabin on arrival. Uh, and one bottle per stateroom there. And we have got an amazing single special. I know a lot of our, our single ladies and gents always look out for this, and we're going to draw your attention straight away. We've got a single available from only six You're following this musical theme, aren't you? All the single ladies. All oh, the yes. Single ladies. See? Barcelona, what a beautiful horizon. <laughs> All the single ladies. And, and um, I've got another one up my sleeve for later. Oh, God. Um, and uh, return flights based on London Gatwick as that as well. Now, we've got loads of dates available. So just to show you, we've got dates all the way through from April, right the way through into November as well. But really good prices across the board. And do check out the single prices, as we've said there, starting at just 649. Uh, don't forget to it's a free phone number, uh, 080 And our cruise consultants uh, will be available until about 10.30 tonight, won't they? Yeah. Ready to take your call. That's a really good price for that, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. But it gets even better because we're moving on now to a completely different cruise on a completely different package and this is one place I've never been before but I've always wanted to go I'm going to Cuba I was say, you've been to most places in the world haven't you yeah, uh, yeah it's near lot. water near, it's near water but this is just unique. I absolutely love the flavour of Cuba, whether it's the rum and the, the roots of Bacardi or whether it's the fantastic cars that they've still got running around. Well, I'll tell you what, before we, uh, we show you these amazing pots, uh, let's take you on board with MSC. Have a look at this. I must admit, there's, there's one thing with MSC, obviously the Mediterranean Shipping Company, it's just this wonderful Art Deco feel on this particular ship. The opera uh, really has got it right. I mean, the open deck space, you've got a retractable roof, it, if it was bad weather, look at those that, beautiful swimming pools. Was that an infinity? Pool? The swimming pool, yeah, there's the 4D cinema that we were talking about and the, uh, the Grand Prix simulator as well. And of course, you can go to the gelato bars as well. Fantastic shopping. Um, so uh, definitely, um, definitely one to and, go for. And everyone that uh, that I've spoken to that's cruised them, said they do always talk about the opulent ships. I mean, they are, yeah. they are fantastic. Well, and the food, look at the pizzas. Oh. And look, the Art Deco nature. I'm very lucky that uh, our hometown has actually got a cinema 
that is that was built in the 30s and is all done in Art Deco. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite places. And this would be high on my list of ships to go on. The entertainment, as you would expect, is phenomenal. But look at the actual rooms that you're going to be staying in. Look at the, the really modern, contemporary, but classy interiors. Uh, I absolutely love these ships. I, I just I just love cruises, I really do. Mm. You know, every time every time I present the show, you know, I've been very lucky, I've done a lot of cruises, but I always wanted to do another one. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you, once you get the bug, that's yeah. it. You just have to keep on coming back um, for more. Anyway, this is a part of the world that I've not visited either, so uh, let's let's have a little uh, taster of the great itinerary. So, it starts off with our flight from London, doesn't it? Yeah, and you're going to be flying over um, to Cuba, and your first day that you've got is in Havana. And uh, Ernest Hemingway apparently uh, used to drink in one of the local bars, uh, and used to have the uh, the mojito. So you, you've got to go here, get some really great fresh uh, fresh mint, get it crushed up, Ooh. and get some proper, authentic Cuban rum. You know, we, we are talking I, the brands of Bacardi. I, lo I love a good mojito. Yeah? I strawberry do. strawberry or, or mint? Uh, mint, actually. Yeah, I like a mint mojito. Yeah. I can I, manage a strawberry at a push. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, though, after, after this, with this wonderful state that you've got in Havana, then you've got a day at sea over to Belize City. Now, this is uh, a very, very uh, interesting location. You've got dense rainforest. You've got Mayan ruins there as well. You've got the, the, the world's second largest barrier reef as well so uh, you know if you do love your your scuba diving here's some of the the temples um you can go to this one or, or you can go a little bit later on to some of the temples in costa maya and i would actually recommend that as well but look at that it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it um there's also loads to do outdoor activities you can go zip lining you can go cave tubing all in this port so again we can book those tours for you so ask when you book then we're going off to honduras and we're going off to rotan now this is the largest of the bay areas or the bay islands sorry should i say of honduras and you can see again look at those shallow waters the beautiful turquoises and blues and great beach facilities uh, there's there's a there's a few people you have to watch out though for on the beach these guys oh <laughs> no, they look really cute <laughs> hear no evil speak no evil see no evil <laughs> evil. there's a fourth one as well which i think i should be on the end but uh, there we go but just imagine swinging in one of those wonderful yeah look at that oh and in fact we've also yeah. I've, I've reserved my sun lounges oh there you go that's one, for you, that's, that's one for you and one for me. That does look beautiful, doesn't there it? There we go. As long as you rub the sun cream on my back, I'll rub the sun cream <laughs> on yours. Uh, but it is beautiful, that's the thing. But it doesn't end there because from uh, Honduras, uh, you're actually going to go into Costa Maya. One of my favourite ports has got a great, uh, fantastic um, uh, port area itself. So you've got the pontoon, you walk in, and it's like one massive shopping complex. So you can go there and you can buy, uh, you, can, uh, you can go and buy cowboy boots, you can go and buy... Um, carpets, but then you can go and get some great sort of uh, sort of authentic trinkets, of, like the Mayan ruins. Um, you can actually hire a golf buggy and go out to one of the local towns. And if you think you know, you know, you think oh, I've seen everything in life, you haven't seen this. It really is. There is no telephones. There is no electricity. It is literally just wooden huts. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, a real eye-opener. Um, and then after that, you're going to be going to a fantastic island by the name of the Island of Pines. Um, you can actually go here. This is the, the Isla de la Ju Juvenet, I, I believe. But it's the, it, it, effectively, it's the Isle of Pines. Um, you can go to a, a bamboo uh, jungle here, or you can go to a crocodile farm as well. Uh, but make it snappy. <laughs> oh. No, it's, you know, the great and, thing and is you can you can see iguanas actually um, at the port before. So if you do want to go and see some wildlife, then go and see something completely different. I mean, iguana, crocodile. When do you, you can't go? You can't go to your average, average sort of zoo and see that, can you? Uh, you certainly can't. And then we're back to Havana, aren't we? Yeah, for, but uh, this is where we have a three-night stay. Now, just imagine Havana, the music. That wonderful salsa sort of feel and all the old cars, because of course there was an import ban uh, between Cuba and, and America. So all of the cars that you see there, there's, if you love classic cars, it's all the American oh, old really? Buicks and yeah, the Fords. It's brilliant. Do you know that really was nice? Should we it? go and get, uh, get I, some cigars? Just Cuban cigars. How did I forget that? Do you know, I'm just checking the dates because they, they they really mean with me in holidays here. But um, yeah, there's a lot. Don't of tell dates. you're already on a cruise. I know, no, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's just remind of the the gorgeous ship uh, that you'll be on board. I do like the look of this one. So it's a part of the world that I've not been to at all. Fantastic. I believe she's actually a Vista class, which is is, is similar to some of the ships that I've actually been on. So the layout. Fantastic layout that you've got there, and you know it's the finer details. And I mean, look at the the dining options that you've got there as well. I mean, just just imagine sitting there in the Caribbean. You've been lounging around all day, and then you can dress up and you can go out, watch a theatre show, go to the casino, perhaps have a little bit of a flutter, stick or twist. I'm always bust.
Do you know that's a poker term. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Do you know, I've always been looking at the casino. Yeah. Actually, it's actually not in. poker, really, is no. it? It's actually, uh, yeah, blackjack. Now, um, <laughs> let's imagine what's included. Uh, first of all, this is an exclusive package to Planet, of course. As we just saw, there three night all inclusive hotel stay in Cuba. And you can upgrade, um, you know what I'm like, I definitely do this, to all inclusive on board from only £140 per person. Bearing in mind the length of that cruise, that works out in a really good value per night, doesn't it? And return flights based on London Gatwick there as well. Now we have got uh, prices available on most of the uh, the dates and most of the cabins. We've had a couple of sellouts on the balcony and the single, but we have got all of those other dates and prices available and starting tonight at just 1249. That was really impressive, wasn't it? Really impressive. And we don't feature that part of the world as no, well we don't, very right. often. So, no. uh... Now um, we have got a Brand new guest on the sofa. I only met him earlier today. Evening. Tom, nice to see you. Evening. Evening. How are you both? We're very yeah. well, thank great you. To, great to thank meet you. you. He's got so, a good watch. I like this man already. <laughs> and a firm handshake, you know it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, Tom's with us from Riviera Travel, and we're going to be talking about your fantastic river cruise nights yes. on the MS Lord Byron, aren't we? Yes, they? we are. And um, first of all, tell me a little bit about, about uh, Riviera and and yeah. uh, your ships if you can. Yes, yeah, so um, we're a British five-star river cruise company and we're in fact the only British five-star river cruise company out there. So we do little things, you know, like the tea and coffee in the cabins, which, you know, all us Brits love. We don't want to walk down yeah. the corridors in our dressing gowns first thing in the morning just to try yeah. and get ourselves a cup I, of coffee. I've been on a cruise so, with me before, uh, haven't you? <laughs> so I, can't even, I can't even walk without a cup of coffee yeah. in me, so, so that's lovely. Um, so it's little things like that, you know, it's, uh, it's a British, like I said, British company, very British themed cruising. So if you like yourself a nice relaxing itinerary and time to go and explore these fantastic destinations that we take you to, then we're really the people to go with. Um, and one, one thing, and I know I mentioned this earlier, but you mm. do fantastic offers for single yes. passengers, don't you? Yeah, so the Rome we've been talking about today, you know, on our lower deck, we have um, about six cabins with no single supplement on whatsoever. Uh, but in April next year, we've actually got some middle and upper deck cabins. So you get a French balcony, again, with no single supplement. So from just uh, 1499, you can get yourself a fantastic French balcony, open yourself up to the world the and, first thing in the morning. And these and are the same size cabins that two people normally yeah. share, but you can get it for a single Yeah, exactly. Person. It's really good. And I, I did actually joke earlier on mm. that if I was actually booking it, because the price was so good, mm. book two cabins and the other half can stay in that cabin. <laughs> exactly. Well, I can stay on the other. It's, it's <laughs> a perfect excuse. I it really not is. Um, but, but for five star luxury, yeah. these are amazing prices. Yes, well, can we have a look at your lovely ships? Yes, of course. Yes. yes. So here we go. Just talk us through if you can. Yeah, so, you know, as you can see, the ships are absolutely lovely. And one of the things that are absolutely fantastic to go and spend is, like, the lounges and the uh, dining area, sort of the lounge we just saw then. And we take you some fantastic destinations. Um, so in the sort of, in your public spaces on the sun deck, you can just watch the world go by, sit there and relax and, you know, have a gin and tonic and just watch the fantastic scenery as you sail along the river. Uh, the tour managers as well and our tour guides are absolutely fantastic on this ship and they really bring the destinations and, uh, to life and actually as well. Forgot to mention but it's complimentary short excursions as well yes isn't it there? is so all your excursions are included in the price uh, there's no sort of hidden extras or anything like that uh, that's going to catch you out uh, on board the ship you know the dining's absolutely fantastic it's not a it's not a cruise to go on if you're wanting to go on a diet but as you can see the rooms are absolutely fantastic uh, that's one of our suites but it's an absolutely stunning uh, cabin you get wow, nice look at that you get bathroom. really nice bathrooms you know, it's marble bathrooms with a proper power shower and all that sort of just you know dribbling out on you like I said the food's fantastic the dining uh, is open seating and we don't have a dress code on board so it's very relaxed when you're on there so if you want to just wear sort of a polo shirt and chinos that's more than and, welcome and, as well. and you've even got a, a little sauna Area sauna there. steam room yeah that's again all included in the price all you have to do is just let the reception staff know that you want to go and uh, sit down and have a nice little sauna and i noticed the pianist though is it pianist sometimes yeah that's, that's sort of the entertainment on board you know the entertainment of river cruise is really going off and exploring but in the in the lounge we have a pianist in the evening um just giving yourself a nice little bit of light entertainment when you're there just in your grinning away it looks great <laughs> doesn't it the thing is my first ever cruise experience was on a river cruise and the thing is, you, you can go on to river cruise ships mm -hmm. and then you can go on to a brand like yours. Yes. And I think the thing that is, there's great. so many people that we, we, we talk about. I mean, look at the facility that you're on board. So many people that are used to ocean cruises, they mm -hmm. don't know what the next step is, yeah. the, the evolution. And I sort of started with river cruises and it, it was. It was an mm -hmm. old ship and it, it was a lovely little family sort of set. But when you see the big ships, you go, 
Wow, I wish I was on that one. And the Byron, 140 passengers. Yeah. I love that fact that, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. for those that have been ocean cruising for a long time, where they've been used to 1,400 yeah. passengers or 3,400 yeah. passengers, the fact that you've got 36 crew that are dedicated mm. for that 140 people, and that, 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 that's 140 yeah. people when it's it, maximum. Yeah, that's that maximum. <laughs> so, you know, if you've got some of the singles on there, then we're bringing it down yeah. to sort of closer to 130. I really fancy it. So I've not done a river cruise yet. I, I really do fancy yeah. it. Well, you've really. got your cruise with Sean on an ocean cruise. <laughs> I think I'll go with Tom <laughs> and his nice watch. On <laughs> because this is winemaking region, so this is my special subject. <laughs> well, well um, I think this is, I really do think this is amazing tonight. I really do. And looking at the single prices, please give us confidence as soon as you come. But let's show you where you're going to be cruising too, because lovely areas on this one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think, you know, I think it's really worthwhile pointing out that you can choose either to fly or take Euro yeah, we, store. Yes, you, yeah. you spotted yeah. that, didn't you? Yeah, and yeah. I think this is great because for, for, for a lot of our viewers that perhaps if you can't fly uh, mm -hmm. for, for whatever reason, or you don't like flying, I've never actually been on the Euro yeah. star. I always said that I wanted to do like the Orient Express or a long train journey. So yeah, this would be perfect to yeah. actually join the ship and then and just in, enjoy it. Um, but yeah, uh, on, on, on board your ship, of course, the, uh, the actual Byron itself, a beautiful ship, um, but this is where you start your cruise. And a lot of the actual cruise is gonna be um, actually cruising on the rivers itself. It's not just gonna be port, port, port. So some of the mornings, some of the afternoons, you're gonna be seeing views like this. Now, the fact of the matter is, with a river cruise, you can look out your window and you can feel as if you really can touch it because your meters away. Uh, and the actual first day that you're going to have in port in chalon uh you're going to actually rise in the morning, you're going to be berthed alongside and literally step off the ship onto the quayside. And that's the great thing. This is actually the, the town where the, uh, the um, inventor of photography was. Oh, so, yeah, really? so I, I don't know whether they've got any blue <laughs> plaques or anything like that, but I'm sure you'll be taking plenty of photos. I thought I'd just, just drop that in there. Um, but uh, this is also the gateway to Burgundy, so if you do love your wines, then this is going to be great. And actually on the tour that you have in the morning, and just remember that the tours are yeah. all complimentary, yeah. they are all included. You'll see the actual picturesque, but surprising villages that just, just well, adorn some of the greatest wine lists around the world. Um, then we're on to our next port of call, and this is Bion. And this is Burgundy's actual wine capital. Now there's one particular building, this one, which is uh, a hotel which has got a tiled roof. And I wish we could zoom into it because it's just so distinctive. It's actually built in the 15th century. So uh, just, just absolutely and fantastic. And again, there's a, a prestigious wine auction that takes place here every year. And they actually put the uh, proceeds, which are quite considerable, as you can imagine, um, it to support the local hospital, which is uh, just a nice little point. Then on to day four, and we're off to uh, Vienne, Tournant, Suron. Um, I know it sounds like a sound, I, <laughs> chanson de <laughs> um, But this, again, you've got to look up at the valleys, and you're going to be cruising along looking up at the wine um, uh, producing region, which, well, enjoy the wine. I mean, to, to look up at the vineyards there and think how it's produced and then just go down to the little cafes and have a little bit of a sample. And, and again, Tom, you've had lots of excursions. You do, you, you even get a wine tasting excursion oh, included lovely. as part of the, uh, you know, your river cruise as well. So you get you to like sample to drink some it, of though. the local wines. You, like, you, you, you can drink it, swill it you around, can. aren't you? You can drink it. One of the great things as well about our river cruising is if you want to buy a bottle of wine when you're on, on the shore, you can bring it on board the ship. We're not going to frisk you down and take it away yeah. from you. Uh, if, you want drink really? it in, if you want to drink it in your cabin, buy it, on, buy it on the land, bring it on board, have a drink of a bottle of wine, enjoy your French balcony and watch the world go by. Oh, I was it's just going to say this, yeah. mate. I've got it pictured. Me, French balcony, on my own, bottle of wine. <laughs> so, can I bring me dog? Uh, I'm not sure if you bring me dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't got a passport anyway. Um, but on to, on to the next port of call. Actually, j just, just on uh, to, to point out that last day mm. where you're actually cruising, you get to go through a series of locks. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do like things like the Panama Canal, it's not quite as large, but it is an engineering feat yeah. in its own. Uh, then we're off uh, to Viviers. Now this is a, a great day. This is, this is an example of how you river cruise because you're going to get off of the ship and you're going to go on a coach trip um, to the Ardèche Gorges. Now this is some of the most breathtaking gorges um, that you're ever likely to see where it's actually natural geographical erosion. Um, that puts these arches and you know the running waterways. It's just absolutely fantastic. Um, so uh, that one's definitely. And then you join back the ship um, at the end of the day and cruise on to Arles. 
Um, now this is uh, another guided tour port, so you get chance to see the, the Roman artifacts because this is built on, on uh, it's actually got one of the best amphitheatres. Oh, has it? Best condition amphitheatres oh. ever. I, I know this looks like Rome, but it's yeah, not it the Colosseum. It does like a mini, mini no, this one. It? Exactly. Um, so well, you'll get to see, uh, of course this is the sort of the legacy of Emperor Constantine as well. So uh, also, um, if you like art, then Van Gogh used to kick around these parts as well. Um, yeah, appa apparently, he's, he, I think it was 300 paintings they actually painted while he, he was... He did, he painted painting. some of his more memorable stuff whilst he was there did as he? well. Yeah. Sunflowers? So, yeah, his Sky at Night as well, I believe, was painted. Uh, I didn't I know it was that. There. Don't Same. quote him on that, but I'm fairly <laughs> sure it was. It's all right, say it with confidence, Tom, it's fine, it's fine. You've got a trustworthy face. Um, but then, the, the, the actual end of the cruise is Avignon. And this is absolutely just beautiful. Um, if you do like, again, artwork, there is the, um, uh, what, the Pope's Palace, which has got some of the best frescoes and tapestries as well. And it, it just does look like something out of a medieval story, doesn't it? You can just imagine riding up on horseback in a, a suit of armour with a damsel in distress. You got me a bottle of wine, love? No. <laughs> um, but this is also when you have a captain's dinner as yes, well. Yes, we do. do we include a captain's dinner. You know, it's a chance if people wish to dress up, they can, you know, put on a suit and that sort of thing. But like I said, again, we do have no dress code, and that does apply to the captain's dinner. Well, so if you want a more relaxed approach, you can. That's do. fine. Can we just see the ship one more time? Because she. I'm mean, right like calling a ship. No, yes, I yeah. Really. Well, it's a Lord really, Byron, but ships are normally yeah. shoes, aren't they? Um, but uh, Lord Byron, as we say, looks stunning. Now, price-wise, um, amazing for this. Starting at 1199, uh, as we've mentioned with, with our lovely Tom tonight, that you are getting shore excursions, including in every single port. We've got single specials starting from the same price, and that's based on the 19th of October. They will go quickly. So there's only about, it's about six. Six on the lower deck, and then we've just got a few on the middle and upper deck. But like I say, they will sell fast. Uh, and I'm pleased that you've got um, flights from London, Gatwick, Manchester, or Birmingham. But we did mention, if you're not a flyer, you will provide... You can go by Eurostar. From no extra from, cost? From no extra cost, for leaving from St Pancras. Really nice. good. Yeah, yeah really good. Uh, and the ships differ slightly depending on departure date there. It will either be the uh, MS Lord Byron or the uh, MS Swiss Corona there as well. Corona, yeah. Corona. Yeah. Corona. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lovely ship there, uh, sister ships to each Thank other. Thank you, so Justin. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, it's, it's like the bottle of beer with a <laughs> slice of lime in it, but a little bit more classy. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we are getting sellouts, as you can imagine, particularly on the singles. With, uh, in fact, if you want the single river view, you've got to go for the uh, October the 17th date there. Um, but the single French balcony I spotted there, April 17th, that is an incredible yeah. price, isn't it? Tom, can I just say thank you? So I thought I think that all looked beautiful. Really, no, did. it's it's fantastic, and you know the customers will absolutely enjoy it if yeah. they go on board. I, I think definitely for for the people that are, are big ocean mm -hmm. cruising fans, you know you've got to do it. If you like a uh, um, uh, sort of like a, a weekend away where you like, just like to ramble around somewhere in France yeah. or somewhere in Germany then the, a river cruise that's what you want to do because it's a different place every day without the hassle of unpacking and packing every yeah, day yeah. which you know that's uh, it's nice and sensitive. Tom thank you so much no worries thank yeah. you very much for having me really enjoyed evening. that pleasure no, and we will see you soon on yes, the sofa see you soon. <laughs> uh, anyway we're uh, we're going to move on next to celebrity cruises and, and stay tuned because in about ooh, seven minutes' time, we will be uh, announcing those of you that will be dining with me with Celebrity in October. But before we, um, we, we talk through and have a look at the beautiful ship, you're actually going to be staying in Abu Dhabi. So let's just take you there. You fly from London to Abu Dhabi, and we're here for one night in a gorgeous hotel, aren't we? Yeah, and I, do you know, I always say that it's, it's great, very much like the river cruises, that, you know, when you are in port overnight, um, it is just magical. But in the daytime, you can get out and you can see it all. Of course, you've got uh, Yas Island, where you've got the Marina Bay circuit. You've got Ferrari World as well, the world's fastest roller coaster over there. But you've also got the Marina Mall, the Abu Dhabi Mall, uh, the Awahida Mall as well, the Central Market. <laughs> you can buy anything. Let's and face it, everything. You're not going to be bored, <laughs> are you? No, no. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, again, just look at this at night. You know, it just transforms. It transforms. Uh, but then you're going to be transferring from your hotel on board um, this beautiful celebrity ship. And we had um, we had Ruth here last yeah. uh, last week. Last week, we? yeah. Yeah. How quickly a week goes. But uh, the celebrity ships are really something yeah. to say. Um, 
as a brand multi-award winning five-star modern luxury at its absolute best. Um, I'm really looking forward to my next cruise in January with Celebrity. But Keith's another big fan and here he is. He does get out and about, doesn't he? He has a good life, doesn't he? And here he is to tell you a little bit more. With exceptional levels of service, one crew member for every two guests, well-designed and easy to navigate ships, and a decor that is both sophisticated and contemporary, this is a cruise line which offers a real sense of modern luxury. Life on board a celebrity cruise ship is an opportunity for you to enjoy your cruise just how you like it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice literally is yours. There's cooking competitions, mixology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. You can top up your tan by enjoying a margarita by the pool or use your C-Pass card and help yourself to another glass of vino in the award winning Cellar Masters. But my absolute favourite has to be here, it's the world's first ever world-class bar. We're tasting the work of these wonderful mixologists who will introduce you to the latest trends in cocktail creation. It will literally knock your socks off. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality and taste of the food they offer. You can experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections with casual fresco dining to this stunning main dining room with the amazing wine tower that holds nearly 3,000 bottles of wine. When the sun sets, celebrity cruises ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars and lounges and nightclubs. Keep an eye out though for the interactive theme parties. You might even find dancers in these exquisite costumes suddenly appear out of nowhere to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, there's circus shows, comedy, magic, music. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from, and over 85% have a private balcony. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor to ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. Well, I know you can absolutely adore the celebrity experience. And, and what I love about this, particularly at this price, you could be away for Christmas and New Year. Yeah, New Year and the actual New Year's Eve is spent in Dubai. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. And, and Kachin on Christmas Day. Christmas isn't Day, it? yeah. So you're going and, into India. And uh, can I just say that for, for those of you that are on board, um, please let your cabin stewards, if, if they are from, uh, from India, let them have that day off. I know it's going to be Christmas Day. Um, but it's, it's such a, a heartwarming thing when you see them go back to their, their home country. And, and, I, and, you know, not everyone, I'm not being funny, but not everyone does love Christmas. It can be very stressful. So maybe you want to change your plans tonight and get away for Christmas. Yeah, you miserable devil. You. No, it's hard work. <laughs> Christmas can be hard work. I love it, but it can be hard work. I would love just to get away sometimes on a cruise. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's show you where you're going to be cruising to. Yeah, so uh, Abby, Abby, onto the ship, and then you're into Muscat. Now, this is actually the Omani capital, so you've got uh, a fantastic uh, chance. Go and see the Grand Mosque as well, uh, and go and see some of the forts that actually used to protect the area. Um, you've got a completely different culture, um, and it's amazing to see as well. Um, the sights, the sounds as well, uh, and some of the spices, great trading routes around here. And um, great temperatures at this time of year. I was going to say, yeah, yeah Christmas. Yeah. Hey, say at home with the, the fire on. Hey, wondering whether the turkey's cooked or not. No, thank you. I'll be on a cruise ship out somewhere like this. And again, being celebrity, you've got one of the greatest wine selections on board. We'll tell you about that a little bit later on. Uh, but once you've done all your shopping uh, and whatnot in, uh, in Muscat, then you've got three relaxing days at sea. And this is when you can enjoy the ship because the ship really is a destination in itself. Uh, and bear in mind that this ship has actually been refurbished uh, to Solstice class. So you've got all of the Solstice class features. So you, you've got your Canyon Ranch uh, Spa, one of the largest spas at sea. You've got the Ocean Liners Restaurant, Bistro on Five, Blue, Cafe de Bacio as well. Uh, we'll, t we'll tell you a little bit later on uh, about that. Uh, but we're going to be going to India now. Three ports. Uh, you go to Cochin in India, New Mangalore and Goa as well. Now, Goa is very much a, a beach resort. I, I'd just love to go and see the, 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 um, uh, the Indian elephants there as well. Um, but you've got to go to the beach when you hit Goa. Or what, what the, uh, funnily enough, what the, the crew used to call the other land. Uh, because it's very, very much a, a separate part of sure. India in itself. Oh, you, you mean other land, other land. Um, but then we're into Mumbai. 
uh, of course, old Bombay. Now, Mumbai itself is a hustle and a bustle. You've got modern metropolis versus uh, the old uh, grand buildings that were there left from the sort of uh, the, the halcyon days of the empire. And I mean, just look at some of the grand hotels there as well and, and the palaces. It's absolutely fantastic. But one thing, I, I, like I said, you know, give, give your cabin stewards, if they are from, from India, um, the day off. It's one of the greatest sail-ins and sail-outs when it? you've got Indian staff on board because, uh, you know, it's very rare. You know, they can be sometimes away for nine to 11 months of the year and uh, they, they always welcome the ship in because it's welcoming their family back in. They, you are treated like family. Um, and it's amazing how these staff on board cruise ships remember you a year later on the same cruise. It's crazy. Anyway, after India, you've got two relaxing days at sea to build yourself up to the biggest night of the year. Get your glad rags on and your party frocks ready. It's New Year's Eve, baby. I mean, imagine, imagine celebrating New Year's Eve in Dubai. I mean, Dubai do, or yeah. not Dubai? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm there. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is going to be absolutely amazing. Well, just imagine it? the fireworks that are going to be around oh. Burj Khalifa, um, which is the tallest building, I do believe, in the world, 825 metres. Uh, oh. currently um, and then you've got the uh, Palm Island I'd love it in the daytime I'd love to take a helicopter ride over Palm Island uh, and the, I mean, the shopping centers there are bonkers I mean, this is going to be absolutely mad a big big party what a great way of starting 2017 can I yeah. can I actually make a suggestion here because you've got some of the greatest shopping um, just save yourself and go you know what I'm not gonna take an outfit um, on board for New Year's Eve I'm gonna go and get it on that last day because it will be such a buzz that whole day going round, getting your outfit, and then seeing this at night with all of the fireworks in one of the greatest and, places. Well, I know um, this is going to prove really popular tonight. Let's remind you of what's included because it gets even better actually. Wait till you see this at home. Now, you will get a free classic drinks package for all staterooms. Quite often with celebrity. Um, You'd be looking at an ocean view above for that. Tonight, it's for all staterooms, including the inside. So that makes this phenomenal value. When you pay Phenomenal. Back, it does. When mm. you, yeah, think about how long you wait. Uh, you also get that uh, one night in a five-star hotel in Abu Dhabi. Return flights based on London Gatwick. But look at this. You can actually add an additional two-night hotel stay in Abu Dhabi with a tour from only £99 per person. You'd be mad not to do that. And the thing is, you can do that at the beginning or the end. I'd do it at the end. Yeah, I would. Why? Because you're going to need to recover from New Year's Eve. <laughs> you are. Oh, because such that. a party, whether you're staying up late, even if you don't drink, you're going to be staying up yeah. late, you're going to be celebrating, you'll be eating and dining. I'd, I'd like to have a couple of days just to go, whoa, take well, stock. Um, anyway, we are going to have to move on with that. Classic drinks package is including on all staterooms. It's one of my favourite, well, it's my favourite drinks package. Uh, that's all of your teas, coffees, specialty, um, say, coffees, bottled water. Great selection of beers and spirits and wines and cocktails. It is all there included in that drinks package for everybody booking tonight. Now, you might want to upgrade as well because we have got great prices on concierge class. You'll get extra things like priority check-in and welcome gifts. And for the first time um, next year, I'm going to be experiencing aqua class. And the reason why I'm going to go for aqua class is the blue restaurant. Everyone talks about it, and that is an exclusive restaurant for Aqua Class passengers. Mm. And of course, priority check in and the, uh, the personal spa concierge as well. It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, you get to experience this with the people um, that we've got from our prize draw. Yes. Now, um, just to um, remind everybody, uh, I'm going to be hosting a cruise with celebrity uh, on the 18th. Cocktail of, party. Yeah, cocktail party. It'd be good. And that's a uh, guided tour ashore. No, no, I'm not doing that. Are you? No. Oh, OK, Cocktail sorry. Cocktail party, but I tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be dining with a group of people who were in our prize draw last week, so... You poor things. And, yeah, you don't, know what, <laughs> you don't know what you've let yourself in for. You really don't. But, yes, you're going to be dining with me in the main restaurant on board. So, Margaret, I'm going to be meeting you, and Catherine Gordon and David Robinson and Robert Everett, Janet... Uh, and Nigel. So yes, we're going to be dining together on board and wine has been provided by Ruth from Celebrity and I'll be giving you all the gossip. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. But if you still want to book that cruise, don't forget it's the 18th of October going over to the Canaries next year. So yeah, congratulations yeah. to those people. The only thing is when you have soup, do you cut the, the bun or do you, do you break it? I break it normally. You do break it. Yeah. You don't dip it, do you? Are you a dipper? 
I, no. Not I am at home. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, I am at home. I'm just checking for uh, you. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you to everyone that booked that cruise last week. I um, really appreciate it and can't wait to meet you. Anyway, we're going to move on to a really cheeky little deal with Thompson on board the Thompson Ooh. Majesty. It's really cheeky, this a one. A cheeky quickie. Yeah, so let's uh, take you on board and have a look. So this is on board the Thompson Majesty. Thompson's fantastic. Yeah. They they know they know their product, they know their market. They've got classic cruise ships which they've bought from other companies, refurbished them to modern standards, and now they're doing what they do well, looking after people and entertaining at a great price as well. You've got all the modern facilities you'd expect. Uh, we also have got all-inclusive on board the ship and an option that you can add a seven-night stay on in Mallorca, half board for just two nine nine. I'll tell you wow. more about that a little bit later on. But the places you're going to be discovering are, are quite unique because these actual ports, because the ships are older, they're smaller, which means they can get into the pretty little ports and they don't have to pull up and then you have to get a bus ride so, round. So these are so, more classic ships oh. that you know that really can yeah. so get you into those more intimate ports. Um, seven bars, seven lounges, a free all-inclusive drinks package. Set. I'll tell you what, for the data, so bear in mind you're going to be away the end of June, early July, mm. very expensive time of year, that is phenomenal value. Yep. And some of these ports I've not been to actually. No, this, this is the beautiful thing, there's, yeah. there's some classic ports in there, in fact the first one where you, uh, you fly out to Parma and you, you, your first port of call is actually Minor. Um, now, this is going to be fantastic for those of you that perhaps have been on holidays there uh, years ago and you think, oh, we had a, such a great holiday, go back there for the day because you can see you've got a wonderful marina area, great beaches as well, um, so uh, a great way to start off your cruise. Then we're off to Toulon. Now, this is actually uh, a beautiful port, uh, the French port for the Navy as well. The Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier is actually in there as well. But, of course, you're, not, you're only a stone's throw away from the Côte d'Azur. Um, so you, you've just got that, that, that style, that lifestyle of uh, just enjoying a glass of wine by the sea. Um, so I have a little bit of a wander around, not too far from Saint-Tropez as well. Um, then we're going to be going to Cité, and this is just a short town, uh, it's a short ride to a town which is known for its cassoulet. Which oh, is, okay. Yeah, which is the, the, uh, the meat and the yeah, beans. Yeah, yeah, I like which that. Which I'm like, you know what, I want to try that. I, I always want to try, so, try something new. Then we're going to be going off to Palamos, uh, and this is, uh, again, stone's throw away from Girona. Uh, this is where you have the Arab Bas and the Cathedral of Santa Maria, and also you can take a, an optional excursion here to the Dali Museum. So um, uh, you know, make sure that when you book your cruise, if you want to go and see the Dali Museum, book it with Planet. Um, then we're off to Tarragona. Uh, this is not too far from Barcelona, actually, um, it's, but it's got one thing in common with, with, with Barcelona. It's got its own La Ramblas. That's it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Then we're going to be into Ibiza, or Ibiza, as some people pronounce it. No, Ibiza. Uh, of course, you can go around the old town. You can go to some of the cool beaches. Perhaps if you want to see the sunset before you catch the, uh, the ship back, um, then uh, go to some of those cool little bars with a little bit of chill-out music. Uh, and it looks so pretty as you sail away. And then you're back into Palma de Mallorca uh, and then fly back to London. Um, so... Have a look at this. This is what is included. A free upgrade to all-inclusive on board as well. I always think that makes such a difference. Mm. Um, now, look at the flights as well. We've got return flights. London Gatwick, Stansted, Manchester, Birmingham, Liverpool, Bournemouth, and even Humberside tonight as well. So all of those are that price. Um, other airports are available for supplements as well, so we can basically find an airport near you. And, as Justin said, you can actually add on a seven-night hotel stay there in Mallorca, half board from 299 It's really good, isn't it? That's great. A week in Mallorca for that price is unbelievable. And this is you're going to get great value for money with Thompson. Um, and a deposit only tonight on that one. So if you do want to book it, don't forget the ID number there is 118964. 27th of June, that one. Brilliant value. But we always, lo we always like to... to finish the show with a real biggie, don't we? Yeah. And tonight, yeah. Carl, this is well, brilliant. This. First of all, it's with Princess on board the Sapphire Princess. But what a journey this is going to be. Oh, yeah, the places, locations, the things that you're going to do and experience a once in a lifetime. It really is. Um, but the ship itself, Sapphire Princess, she's a grand class ship, so you've got great facilities. You've got uh, La Chatteria, you've got the steakhouse on there on board as well, yeah. all of the open deck spaces, but it's the places yeah. and the things that you're going to be doing. Well, the cruise actually comes into this uh, on, on, uh, yeah. on day, <laughs> go on, day nine, actually. So let's. Let's give you a little idea of, of the first part of your trip. So we fly from London, don't we? Yeah. you do the pronunciations, Justin. 
Kota Kinabalu. Oh, very good. Kota Kinabalu. Uh, you're going to be there overnight. Now, you're actually going to arrive here and transfer to a hotel for two nights. Uh, and on those two nights, you've got uh, some excursions included. You've got the Pouring Hot Springs and the National Park. You will get to see orangutans a little bit later on Ooh. as well. So, hot day three. Hot Springs sounds nice. Huh? I know, Hot Springs and the National Park there. But then you're going to be transferring, after your two night stay in, uh, in Kota Kinabalu, uh, you're actually going to uh, Sandakan. Now, this is where you go to see the Orangutan Sanctuary. Um, now, this is, is great to see these, these beautiful creatures, Aww. lazy creatures. I think they're great. Just hanging around, looking cool, yeah? Look at like And not doing just, a lot. Yeah. Um, but also, not only are you going to see some of the orangutans, but you're going to go to a separate conservation centre to see the local bears as well. Not pandas, um, but bears. And not polar, but they're bears. <laughs> um, I, I haven't got time to tell me, pan, pa, me polar bear joke. Uh, anyway, you're going to get a chance, though, to stay overnight in a riverside lodge. A riverside lodge. So you've already had your two-night hotel stay, you've seen national parks, you've seen hot springs, you've seen orangutans, you've seen bears, and now you get to stay in a Riverside Lodge. But then, you're going to fly from the actual airport, or, or from, from your Riverside Lodge, transfer it to the airport, and fly to Kota Kinabalu for a two-night stay in a hotel. Now, the first day of your uh, sort of pre-cruise is going to be spent uh, on Manukan Island. Now, this is actually Malaysia's first marine wildlife park, and you can see why. If you love to go snorkeling, uh, you can do so. If you just want to chill on the beach. Oh. You're there, aren't you? No, I tell you what, I'll be up in the hillsides. Apparently, there's an 11 kilometre hike. Um, I'm up for that. I'm up for that, definitely. Mm, no, go out I'll hiking just... in the day. Mm. Feel like feel like Indiana Jones going through the jungle. I, um, think, I, I think I'll just be chilling. Chilling or snorkeling. Uh, but then you actually transfer from Manukan Island to Singapore. This is one of my favourite places. Look at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Uh, this hotel, it's three skyscrapers with a beautiful structure up on the top. At the left-hand side of that structure, there is one of the most expensive bars, but one of the greatest views. You've also got the gardens by the bay, and right in the centre of one of those treetops, the, the actual displays there, there's a bar. I know, I know this is like a running theme, but you've got to go there because it's all lit up at night. It's beautiful. Um, of course, Singapore, you've got the Colonial Pass there. You've got some fantastic hotels. You've got the Ritz-Carlton there. Mm. Got to go there. You could perhaps walk around the Formula One track as well. You can see the Singapore Flyer as well. It's, there's so much to and, do in Singapore. And if you do get a chance, go to the Mandarin Oriental uh, uh, and go and see one of uh, my good old friends there, Stefan. Uh, he looked after us last time we were in uh, Singapore. Um, and you will be there for two nights. When I was in Singapore, mm. I only had, I had a day and I really felt a bit cheated. You're there for two nights. Then you actually embark the gorgeous Sapphire Princess. And here's John to tell you more. Princess Cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to Mexico. Today, the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world. Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular, other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ship's outside cabins, as well as 24-hour dining, and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness centre, you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. But if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here, to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. 
Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows, with some of the largest casts at sea. All shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, as well as shows you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar. Something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships, and it's a great way to end the day. Did and they know, put that cinema production on just for John there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I, I, only, I only cruised with Princess for the first time last year, but love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah great, really great, great ships, really great good. atmosphere. And this is where your cruise starts. So your first day is in Koh Samui, beach. Just beach and more beach. I sounded like John then, didn't I? Uh, then we're off to <laughs> yeah. Bangkok, Oriental City. We're going to Le, uh, Le, 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 Liam Shebang. I prefer to call it Bangkok. To be honest, Bangkok, this is where you want to go and get your noodles. You want to go to the markets. Uh, and depending on what time you're leaving, the bars and the nightlife really does kick up. Um, so it really is, a, a, is an eye-opener. Uh, relax, relax and day at sea. And then we're going to be going into Ho Chi Minh City, which was formerly known as... Sean? Saigon. Saigon. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I this is really the final. Me. No, the final musical. I went there. It's I, the last night of the world. I was a song this, played was... on a solo saxophone. Oh. No, but if you love Miss Saigon, then you're going to oh. love this place. Um, you've got great relics from the war there. So if you do, do love the history side, then of course you've got the modern side of the city I, as well. I, so. was, I was there last year, and it was quite moving at times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, you've got to look look back. But again, if you do love, you know, if you've ever seen the West End show, oh yeah, you go, you go to Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, um, and then you're on a nice relaxing day at sea before you uh, disembark in Singapore and fly back overnight, which is the best way to fly because you get loads of sleep in, wake up fresh at the end, and you, you sort of blink and you go, did that all happen? Wow, um, what an amazing finish! It looks to the like show. a world cruise, that man. Yeah, there's a lot, lots it's of places. It's a lot in, yeah. Um, and remember, you're going to be aboard the outstanding Sapphire Princess as well. And I can honestly say that the service, the food, the entertainment, every aspect of my Princess Cruise was superb, really was. Um, yeah, I'm looking at those cakes. Well, you know, keep looking at them. <laughs> it's always a mistake doing this show before you've eaten, it really is, because you, you feel <laughs> really hungry by the end of it. So let's just remind you what's a clue. There's an awful lot on this one, wasn't it? There's a lot. Do you want me to go lot. through it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we haven't got time. On. Go on, <laughs> There's a quick reminder at home, though. So you have got the uh, so the five-night Borneo Lanto, you get the orangutan sanctuary included, and the sun bear conversation. Uh, con oh, I can't say that. Go on, say it. I've got it. Where? Conservation centre. I've got yeah. my teeth. My teeth came out just in. What the sun, sun Bear Conservation Centre? I found that hard. My teeth came out. Oh yeah. Okay. But two, the five, five nights you get two um, nights in, in the, the ho in the hotel centre. Yeah, and that, yeah. And that, yeah. But then you also get so four, sorry four nights in Kota Kinabalu and one night in the Riverside Lodge, and then you still get the two night stay in the four star hotel in Singapore. Look um, at that. I mean, so much uh, and flights also available from selected UK airports as well. So really wonderful, eh? um, say, trip of a lifetime there. And plenty of time right. as well, because that's, that's 27th of Feb 2018. Yeah, so plenty of time to look forward yeah. to it as well. Right, I've got my teeth back in. Conservation Centre, why can't I say that? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, are you ready? Let's remind you of everything we saw on tonight's show. Real, really good choice, actually, wasn't it? Now, we started off uh, with Costa Cruises. Brilliant little deal, this one. And the price there, four seven nine. dollars um, Great single prices, as we mentioned, and uh, an Easter special. Act. So, starting at just five nine nine for Easter. And for everyone booking tonight, an exclusive free bottle of Prosecco uh, per stateroom as well. And a single price, and I've mentioned a lot, but it is important, six four nine is your lead price on that one. We then had MSC on board the Opera. That lovely uh, 11 nights Cuba and Caribbean stay there as well. It's an exclusive package to Planet tonight. You also get the three nights all-inclusive hotel stay in Cuba and you can upgrade to all-inclusive on board and it's really worth doing from only £140 per person. And then our lovely Tom joined us from Riviera Travel. I thought this was really appetising, didn't you? Um, all the excursions included, uh, a great, great British uh, say experience and uh, as we mentioned, single prices start again at 1199. Great um, flights at uh, London, Gatwick, Manchester, or Birmingham. Um, but 
you don't have to fly, do you, just on this one? No, you can take the Eurostar if you want. Yeah, and that is included. And it deposit only tonight. The ID number is 114439. Just um, always worth jotting those down. It makes it easier to book when you give us a call there. And then, of course, celebrity. Uh, you could be away for both Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, all of New Year. Uh, for under £2,000 and free drinks for everybody booking tonight on this one, no matter what stateroom you choose. I think that's honestly one of the best deals we've ever had for Christmas and year. Definitely under £2,000. Uh, return flights based on London Gatwick and if you'd like to stay an additional couple of nights in Abu Dhabi, you can do that for only £99 per person. And then, of course, we also had Thompson with us on board the Thompson Majesty. Um, Again, uh, 849, bear in mind you're getting an upgrade to all-inclusive and it's at the end of June coming into July. Remarkable price of just 849 there. And uh, great choice of airports, don't forget. All of those airports, Gatwick, Stansted, Manchester, Birmingham, Liverpool, Bournemouth and even Humberside there as well. And then we just finished with a real biggie, a, an absolute trip of a lifetime with, of course, Princess Cruises on board the Sapphire Princess. So much in that, wasn't they? It's great. So much. Do you know what? I, I, th I think I'll be hard to choose from uh, the MSC Cuban deal, the Riviera River Cruise, and then that final one yeah. with the monkeys, because that... <sighs> I'm just uh, going to take a couple of years out, I think, and do the lot. <laughs> <laughs> <Anything? You can't laughs> it'd be now, nice, wouldn't um, it? <laughs> don't forget, um, you can, of course, give us a call up to 10.30 tonight, first thing tomorrow morning, of course, as well. And uh, we will be back next week with some other great deals from Planet. But I love the show. I thought it was something for everyone. So if you didn't see anything you liked, by the way, we can find you any cruise with any company, can't we? Yeah. We yeah. can make deals bespoke. So if you want hotel stays, you know, different flights. Generally speaking, we can arrange all Well, we can. We're we? always are flexible. And, and the great thing is you're getting people that know what they're talking about. So get on the phones. Um, thank you so much, Justin. Have fun always there. a pleasure. Are you going to finish the song? No, 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 a little bit of a dance. I shall just <laughs> dance out. I'll see you in a few weeks' time. But can I just say thank you to everyone for watching the show. We will see you next week, as always, with Planet Cruise. But don't go anywhere. Loads more after this.